chicken and lobster piccata. I'm gonna start with my chicken breast, boneless, skinless, and then I'm, of course, I'm gonna season it, right? I season for my pie because I wanna make sure the salt and the seasoning disperses on the ingredient. A little bit of white pepper, which I prefer for chicken. You can use whatever you want. I'm gonna add a little bit of dried oregano. Then I'm gonna uh, flip my chicken breast over. This chicken breast has been pounded out between some plastic wrap or parchment, however you wanna do it. A little bit more seasonings. And then I have a pan heating up over here. It's got some clarified butter in it. This is one of my tips that I really, really love to get that Maillard reaction, which is the browning of proteins that's gonna help us get that sort of nice brown buttery flavor without burning the butter in the pan. I also have some lobster that's out of the shell and just steamed or just cooked, right? So it's already cooked for me. You can buy it ready to go in the shop. And then I'm gonna dredge my chicken right here in this flour, right? It, it's already been seasoned. If you wanted to season the flour first, you could do that as well. Flip that over. And then what I like to do is just pat it off so there's not a lot of excess flour on there. And then here we go. Let's we'll just put the chicken right in here. And you can see the butter's just starting to sizzle in that pan. We'll get the chicken going. That's gonna take a couple of minutes. We'll get a little color over there. Flip that over, just on the edges, a little bit of brown outside. Turn up the pan a little bit. And you know what I'm gonna do now? Uh, to add a little bit more color, I'm gonna toss in a little bit of whole butter right here. That's gonna help brown this chicken in the pan. Get that going. And we're gonna cook that chicken breast and then it's gonna come out of the pan and it's gonna rest. While it's finishing cooking and while that chicken is resting, of course you wanna make sure that you have all of your ingredients ready to go for the next step, which is the sauce in the pan. Again, really, really easy. We're just using one pan. So what's gonna pop into that pan? We have our lobster tail. If you can get tail, use lobster tail. If it's claws and knuckles, that's fine, but it's just chopped up in a small sort of like uh, pea-sized pieces. We have our miso, we have lemon juice, we have capers, we have butter, and then we're gonna add a little bit of parsley and a little bit of lemon juice. Okay, so that chicken finishing up right here in this pan. Okay, there we go finishing up in the pan. We're gonna pull that off, let that rest over here, uh, and now it's time to cook our lobster. So the lobster meat will go in. All right, and we're just gonna cook it just to finish the cooking. A little bit of lobster. Now we're gonna put in our, our white miso. And again, just a little bit. There's a whisk right there. Sort of whisk, whisk this in. Lobster is cooking, the miso is in the pan. To sort of break down that miso. All right, we'll deglaze with a little bit of wine. Okay, let that wine, let the alcohol cook away, right? We're not having any alcohol in this dish. We're just using the wine for the depth of flavor, just to get all the little bits of chicken that are in the bottom of the pan. Uh, and then real simple, we're just gonna finish this up. We're gonna add our capers. This is what makes it the piccata. You want enough of them to be in a bite every once in a while, but you don't want too many of them. I'll add just for this dish, because I think it works, just a little bit of cream. That'll help us with the uh, emulsification here for this sauce. There it is, that's gonna cook down, and then we're just gonna swirl in uh, a good amount of butter, a good amount of butter. Lobster loves butter. Our chicken's already cooked off to the side. That's finishing up. Toss in a little bit of parsley. Okay, we'll do a little bit of lemon juice as well. Okay, give it one more swirl, just to get all that butter in there. I wish you could smell this, this is delicious. All right, I think we're good, touch of salt. All right, time to plate our dish. Lobster and chicken piccata. Rachel, thank you so much for all the opportunities. I can't believe I've done 56 episodes with you. You really were the first person to believe that I could cook with more than liquid nitrogen. You've meant so much to me and my family. And I wish you were here to taste this. We'll plate our chicken breast. And then really, really simple here. You don't have to do too much. We're just gonna take it from the pan right to the plate. There it is, Rach, chicken and lobster Hakata, it's Rachel Ray, Richard Blaze. Thank you everyone, truly, and listen, off, off camera, whatever. You can see I'm emotional, like best team. Best team in the game, but thank you everyone.